Hey guys, it's Ross. I want to show you something pretty cool today. We did a little bit of something um, interesting with the figs and this isn't really something that I think has a word for it. <laughs> um, I did a video similar to this a couple weeks ago, uh, maybe a month ago. We did about, we talked about rooting figs. I think the video is titled a little trick on rooting fig cuttings. And this is a bit of an update or a little bit of a variation on that. And we're going to expand upon it. And I'm going to talk about some really interesting things I think most of you guys probably didn't know you could do with figs. Um, I, it's one of the biggest reasons why I like figs is that they're so versatile. You can really do anything to them and command them at your will, I feel like. They're so movable, if that makes any sense. You know, um, I could tell the tree to do something and it'll do it versus some other trees where you could tell it to do something or give it as much something as you want. It just won't budge, you know. So um, today with the figs, we have three pots down here. I want to just give you a little brief synopsis real quick. These are three gallon size pots. We bought them from Just Fruits and Exotics, okay. And there's the tag. They're both, all three of them are Smith trees. Um, and I picked these guys up this past fall and they shipped them to me. And since they've shipped them to me, um, most of my trees were already dormant at the time or basically were dormant. But the trees when I got them had lots of green unlignified growth. And this green unlignified growth guys is really just not the greatest thing to try to put that outside and, and get the thing to go dormant. What I had thought instead was, let's put it in a window of the house. We'll stick it in a window, a nice sunny window, you know, a pretty decently warm spot. And with that heat and with that sunlight, these trees will lignify up a bit because just fruits and exotics, they're in South Florida, they're somewhere in Florida, right? They have a longer season than I did at that point in time of the year. They're still in their active growing season back then. And they're also probably growing these trees in a greenhouse. So they never really went dormant. They had lots of unlignified growth. And so by putting them in the window, giving them all that extra energy and heat, they're gonna have that extra energy to then help lignify. And you know what? Um, we didn't really want them to grow. So they haven't really grown at all. Maybe this one leaf was it. But we don't wanna give them too much sunlight or too much food or too much water you know, or too much heat because that would just enable these trees to grow. And I don't want to do that because if they grow, they're going to put out more unlignified growth, which is really not what we want. So um, all we have to do is just give them the right environment and these things will start to harden up. So that's what we did with these two trees here is they, they hardened up much more than this tree. Um, this guy just needs a lot more time. And these guys, I've cut them back all the way down pretty much to the base. And some of you guys are probably thinking, whoa, that's pretty extreme, right? But look at all these cuttings I got. I got seven or eight cuttings here that I can then root and turn into new trees. Smith is my favorite fig. Um, I can certainly tell this is Smith by the, the leaf pattern here. I have no doubts in my mind. So by me creating new copies of these trees for myself, I'm enabling me to have way, um, way more fruit the following year, even though I cut this tree back, you know, pretty far. Let's say it was at the top of this pole, which I think they were, you know, all the way down to here. It's not really going to make a big difference, to be honest. Even if I lose a couple fruits, what's the big deal? Because this tree is so vigorous, figs are so resilient that... And you know what, this is almost even kind of a good thing, believe it or not. A lot of us, when we first start out growing fruit trees, and we, we wanna get the largest tree we can get, we plant that in our backyard, and to be honest, it doesn't really do that well. You could put a smaller tree with a better root system or a proportional root system to what's on top that will actually surpass the larger tree. And I've learned that over the years. You get a tree from the, in the mail or from a nursery, chop it down, man. Cut the tree back as far as you can as far as you can stand it. Um, a lot of you guys pay all this crazy amounts of money for larger trees when in reality that's not what we want. So I'm actually doing this tree or these two trees here a bit of a favor. <laughs> but in the same sense, I'm getting a nice little bonus of cuttings that I can then turn into other trees. Now the next part of this is since we've cut them back and I've kind of taken them out of that window, we can take these trees and then put them under the house put them in cold storage 
And that way they're gonna go dormant, they're gonna drop their leaves, the sap flow is gonna to return to the roots. And then by the time spring comes around and about three months from now, they're gonna wake up and they're going to send out enormous amounts of growth, much more than as if I had kept them in the house all winter time. And they're gonna be back as if nothing ever happened, as if I never made this cut to begin with. Um, the other point I wanna make is that all these cuttings I just took, this is kind of the deadline, right? I wanna make this point clear here because we're gonna do another video of me rooting some of these and talking about this deadline, but this is coming up. We have three months left of winter before our last frost. So basically, you know, you got a month of just trying to root the cutting itself, getting it to form leaves and roots. So that gives us really only about a month and a half because we still have to harden the plants off and then bring them outside. So that's really only about a month and a half for them to grow in the grow closet. And that's really not a whole lot of time. So um, anything after this point of me trying to root anything is kind of just gonna be a little bit of a waste. The tree's not really gonna get that much size by the time we get it outside. So, you know, it's kind of now or never is the way I'm thinking about it. I guess I could leave them in the closet for an, an extended period of time, but getting them outside is really gonna be key and getting them outside to the largest size and the healthiest size and the, just, the, just the healthiest plant I can get them to by the time they get outside is gonna be all the, the bigger benefit. In fact, from a lot of the rooted cuttings that I'm rooting in the closet downstairs, they're gonna give me fruit in their first year. I mean, that's another great thing about figs. They're so just, there's so many different things you can do with them to just bend at your will. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We have done a video on me taking cuttings off of a tree and then rooting those and then showing you guys the progress of that tree. It's called a little trick for rooting figs, I believe. So um, it's worked. There, you know, this is certainly gonna have a high success chance here of rooting these cuttings. You know, they're not the, uh, they're not the brownest cuttings, guys, I'm gonna admit, but you know what, that's, that's fine, okay? As long as the cutting is hard, the green doesn't necessarily matter. It's really the amount of nodes, how healthy, how much moisture is in this cutting. That's all that really matters. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, wish me guys, wish me some luck guys. And I wish you guys some luck as well if you're gonna do this at home. I know there's somebody who actually messaged me about getting a tree from Just Fruits and Exotics, just like I have. And this is literally, he wanted to know what I was gonna do with my tree. I think it was Tristan. So Tristan, if you're watching, this is the now end result of what I'm doing with my trees from Just Fruits and Exotics. They're gonna to go to sleep and we're gonna have all kinds of fruit the following year, or I should say this spring. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll catch you for tomorrow's video, all right? Take care.